What is going on, YouTube? Fascinating graveyard today. We are at the Princess Anne Memorial Cemetery here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And today we're going to visit the grave of Rudy Bosch. If you don't know who he is, you might remember him possibly on the wildly popular television show Survivor. Uh, he was on Survivor with a bunch of other people. Basically, you, bu you put a bunch of people on an island and there you go. You know what the show is about. And even though I did not really watch Survivor because I wasn't much of a television watcher after I reached about 15 years of age, you would see that Survivor would make the news just because of how popular it was. And I do remember two personalities just from hearing about Survivor. That, of course, is Richard Hatch. Uh, he was the big gay guy on there when... Back in the days, being gay wasn't considered cool. And of course, uh, Rudy Bosch, he was the hard-nosed, uh, retired Navy SEAL. Uh, he was born January 20th, 1928 in Rochester, New York. And out of high school, he joined the Navy. The only reason why he didn't join the Marines is because he wasn't old enough to join. And after he did basic training, he was on his way to go out to Europe for uh, World War II and the war ended just as he got out of basic training. But uh, hey, no worries. We have another war for you to fight, Rudy. Uh, we're going to go to Vietnam and cause some uh, trouble, if you will. So he did two tours of Vietnam at the age of 40. And uh, no, this guy wasn't in a command post uh, telling kids what to do. No, he was in the uh, amphibious assault boats going out doing nighttime raids on the Viet Cong. He survived that ordeal. He earned a, a, a bronze star for uh, his uh, valor and in, in the face of diversity. Uh, later, uh, he continued his Navy career. He retired from the Navy in 1990. Fast forward about 20 years and you have Survivor. You have Survivor, and at first, you know, you have Richard Hatch, the gay guy, and then you have Rudy Bosch, the hard-nosed, uh, old-school um, Navy vet, underwater demolition team guy. And at first, they kind of bumped heads, but they quickly became very, very good friends on the show and off the show. Now, Rudy loved Richard. Well, he liked Richard, but not in a homosexual way, you know what I mean? And they would form like almost like a bond, uh, if you will, on that TV show. Uh, Rudy described Richard Hatch as uh, fat, queer, and smart. How offensive. That is so offensive. Later in a television interview, the interviewer asked Richard Hatch, hey, how do you feel about him calling you fat, queer, and smart? And Richard said, well... I'm fat, I'm queer, I'm smart. So that pretty much describes me to AT. Anyways, can't talk like that anymore, huh, Rudy? You can't. Get that leaf off there. Uh, this is the grave of Rudy Bosch. Uh, he's buried alongside of his uh, wife, Marjorie. Uh, he died in 2019 uh, during the... Uh, Later stage, uh, end of his life, uh, he did suffer with Alzheimer's, and and I base I guess you can say he died of that. And uh, towards the end of his time, he wasn't no longer able to communicate with his friends. But a very uh, fascinating man with a fascinating story. And even though you know, listen, he grew up at a time where there sure there were gay guys, but you know, basically they probably kept it to themselves, and. He meets this guy. He's like, whoa, wait a minute. This guy's gay. And then he would like say things that would be like, whoa. Actually, he would say things now that you probably can't even say on network TV. I don't even think they would put him on TV anymore. You know, it's it's the war against the uh, masculine guy. You know what I mean? That's the society that we kind of live in now. They're trying to like demasculize, demasculize men. 
So he's kind of one of the last rare breed of of men. Hell, even on YouTube, you can, it's just weird to me. I don't I don't know what happened, but anyways, um, he definitely was not politically correct, but uh, he just had an endearing quality. You know, that old sailor, you know, that kind of reminded you of your granddad back in the days. You know, the way he would talk about people and, uh, you know, hey, uh, whatever. But they came, they became very, very good friends uh, off the TV show, uh, Rudy here and uh, Richard. So um, rest in peace to uh, Rudolph and Marjorie together forever. Okay, I'm out of here. On to the next story. I'll catch up with you guys later. You be good out there. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. It'll let you know when I upload. I upload on here at least two or three times a week. So with that being said, I'll see you on the next vlog. Peace out.